Hello, this is Gabby Zhu. I'm part of the Sponge team, and today I'm going to show you how to import Sponge into IntelliJ. First things first, we'll need the clone URL in HTTPS form. We're going to go to our fancy dancy terminal. We're going to type in git clone, then the URL link, and because IntelliJ doesn't support uh, submodule, checking out submodules, we'll have to do that ourselves. So now that's taken care of. Now, normally IntelliJ should be able to do this, but for safety reasons, we're going to go ahead and set up the decomp workspace. Now, depending on the processing power of your computer and the internet speed you have, it might take three minutes, it might take 15 minutes. But on average, it's, it should be about seven, eight minutes. Right. So, as you can see, it took about five minutes for my computer to process it. Then we're going to start up IntelliJ. And then we're going to go ahead and import project. And as you can see, I'm under the correct path, build.gradle. I'm going to select that. Go ahead and use local Gradle distribution. And then IntelliJ is going to do its own thing in terms of configuring, resolving dependencies, and indexing. And this also might take a few might take a minute or two. Right. So IntelliJ has successfully opened the project. As you can see in the bottom, it's indexing. Indexing complete. Now we can visit we can explore the entire sponge powered or sponge project, including the API and Mixin. Now, as well, you'll notice if you open the external libraries that there's all the Gradle dependencies resolved for us, including the uh, Forge decompiled source of Minecraft, and that's it. 